What was the worst, most damaging, way you took revenge? Went paintballing. One dickhead thought it would be hilarious to shoot me in the back of the leg to see if it worked. Obviously it hurt like ducking crazy. Anyways. Two rounds in and we get put on the same team. He's forgotten about it because he's done about 30 other dickhead things since then. He walks about 10 feet in front of me as we begin the round and says is everyone ready? So. I shot him in the back of the leg and said yeah just gotta see if my gum is working. He turns around screaming at me so. Ever so calmly I shoot him again. Judging by his reactions. I shot his left ball. Walked away. He went home. Victory. My friend's sister saved her used tampons and scattered them around her ex-BS car after breaking into it one night. I was sleeping when my back door was broken down by two men. I yelled and they left. A young kid knocked on my door and said he saw it. And that one of the thieves had a blue jacket and a yellow hat. I was livid and got into my car to scour the neighborhood. It took me about 5 minutes to find them and I drove up to them while in my car. I was yelling at them. The kid with the blue jacket. Kept his head low and walked away while his friend confidently approached my car. I kept yelling that they had broken down my door mister. Confident told me to calm down and that they had done nothing. I asked for their names, a fake one was given, and told them I was going to the police and that a witness had seen Mr. Blue Jacket in my yard. With that. I guess Mr. Confident got scared and he reached for me. I floored it and he held onto my window and I dragged him for about 20 yards. He was twice my size and would have beaten me senseless. But I managed to get away call the cops and eventually they were busted. One of the dumbest thing I have ever done. I've posted this story before but it's relevant. I got to dispense a little justice to my neighbor once. I met the neighbor sitting outside shining boots. He was in the army national guard. I walked over to introduce myself and we talked a bit about the army. I helped him shine his boots and pulled a couple of beers out of the cooler that I kept in the back of my truck. Fast forward a few months. And I'm silently wondering if I'm an alcoholic. The case of beer that I bought day before yesterday had dwindled to a six pack. I shrugged it off. I drove my wife's car to work one day that week. My wife worked in a shop across the street and phoned me to tell me that she's been watching the neighbor climb into my truck and stuff his pants with my beer. At first. I was going to confront him and demand restitution but I decided that I could avenge my missing cans of beer by switching to bottles. So I switched. And when they were empty I refilled them with, up, recycled beer and recapped. Put them in my cooler and waited patiently. A few went missing. I waited. Nothing else was taken. My point was made. I screen capped photos from my wife's lover's Facebook and sent them to the school administration because he was a teacher and posting pics of your students test then making fun of them is not cool at all. He was fired at the end of the year. Edit, after his dismissal. I divorced her and got her removed from her position at a daycare because it was a church based facility with morality clauses for employment. All it took was a conversation with the pastor and she was phased out at the first available opportunity. There was this jerk that used to make it his personal mission to make my life miserable in school. I was quiet and never really bothered anybody. But for some reason that sort of thing set him off. I got back at him by keeping everyone at arm's length and developing a bitter and cynical view of the world. Not worst but funniest. I dated a guy for 3 years and broke up with him when I found out he was married. Whole other story. I basically did nothing when I found out other than stop speaking to him. About 6 months later I was thinking about it and wanted to send a little jab so I logged into the student library site with his student card info and ordered a few dozen books on adultery to be delivered to his office, option available to grad students, which he shares with to colleagues. He's a computer science major so the books were definitely not part of his studies. It was little but gave me a laugh. This is my dad's story from when he was a kid. He was walking down the road one day when a bunch of kids in their late teens pulled up in a car and sprayed him with a fire extinguisher. He blew it off as a joke and thought it was pretty funny. Five minutes later the same kids circle around and spray him a second time. 
This time my dad took note of the license plate number make and model of the car. And proceeded to track it down and find out where the kid lived. That night he went to the kid's house and threw a fire extinguisher through the car's windshield. Justice was served. I was sitting in the library on the first day of full semester trying to work and a kid wearing Beats headphones was loudly rapping to his music. I politely asked him to stop. To which he called me a rich or something. Tried to make a scene. And got up and left. The thing was he had forgotten to log off of his school's account. So I dropped him from all his classes. A neighbor who I never met accused me of trying to stab her dog through a double fence this winter. They have a wooden 6 foot stockade fence surrounded by a 4 foot chain link fence. The dog was injured on something in their backyard and required several stitches which resulted in a large vet bill that they couldn't afford. They concocted the story that their animal hating neighbor did this and began a fundraiser and raised quite a sum of money. Way more than the bill was. I had no idea about this whole drama until a friend in the police department told me of what this whacker was accusing me of. So once I found out. I requested a copy of the police report where the neighbor stated that the dog was hurt in their yard. There wasn't any blood or human footprints near the fence etc etc. And I posted it to the fundraising site. She lost friends and reputation for $400. I changed a battery for a guy I can't stand. So I didn't connect the auxiliary pack before I removed the battery from his car. So his clock and radio stations all got reset. My ex-GS neighbor was always accusing her of not picking up after her dog. One day my ex opens her front door. And many piles of dog poo are there on the step, obviously put there by the neighbor. X then takes a bucket. Puts all of the turds inside. Fills the bucket with hot water. And walks to the neighbor's house. When the neighbor answers the door. My ex throws the hot bucket of dodge it water in the lady's face, and into her house. My ex was arrested for a assault. Edit, clarity. Not exactly the worst revenge but I think it's funny. My ex-mother-in-law was one of those a wife serves her husband and does everything kind of people. She always criticized me. My housework. The meals I cooked etc. I decided to get even by filling a sock with the dust from my vacuum canister. Every day I'd stop by her house and take a moment to shake the sock around her house. It left dust everywhere. The floors were the easiest. Every one socks would get dirty from walking around. Her husband was noticing she wasn't doing her duty. The best was when I went and shook dust all over her couch pillows and returned at night. I made a show of flopping down on the couch from being so exhausted from work. Dust went everywhere. Her husband was like what the hell. Don't you ever vacuum? Double quote. Once when I was at school this annoying kid used to sit next to me and copy my work. For a while I let it happen despite being pissed off at the same time. Anyway. One day I was in a particularly bad mood and he was up to his usual tricks. At this point he wasn't even being subtle about it and he just casually reached across and started pulling my sheets of paper closer to him. I snapped and said just take my duck iron work. I put my hand flat on the sheets of paper and viciously slid them along the desk in his direction. Letting go of them swiftly. Air got underneath the paper and they lifted up in the direction of his face. One corner of a sheet of paper flung straight up into his eyeball and I immediately thought duck. What have I done? After crying for a bit. He moved his hand away and his eye was bloodshot right next to his iris. To this day his eye still looks the same and I'm ridden with guilt whenever I see him. I was playing follow the leader with my best friend in kindergarten. He was the leader and ran up the slide. We weren't supposed to run up the slide. But we were 5 years old and could make our own decisions. I followed him. But the teacher saw me and told me to sit down on the pavement until recess was over. So I told her that my friend went up it first and I just followed. The teacher called him over and asked if what I said was true. To which he said no so then I told him we weren't friends until he said sorry. That showed him. He said sorry and then we played Tony Hawk on his N64 after school. Last year had been my first time playing with their soft gums. Right around the end of 2013 summer. 
I was invited to my friend's woodland property to play with his gums. There were about 12 of us. And sadly I was the only chick. After being divided onto a team. My one friend, we'll call him Greek, relentlessly showered my ass in bullets. Greek was not only literally three times my sizes, but was also large enough to just shake me out of the trees I was trying to snipe in. So, around the end of the night, I crouched under a bush and saw this ducker coming towards me. And I shot him. In the testicle. Down he fell like a mighty achazog screaming at the top of his lungs. She shot Emmy in the bowels. After rallying everyone over to see the commotion, we all had a good laugh while he vomited and writhed in the mud. Then helped him inside. I'm still good friends with Greek, D. When I was 14 my father and I spent every evening for a week refinishing a deck for a client. We finally get paid. $600 in cash. And head home for dinner. As we enjoy our meal inside something darker is happening outside. The neighborhood teens who frequently roamed our street happened to be walking by our driveway when they decided to see if any cars were unlocked. Guess which one was? The car with the cash. We were close to finishing dinner when my dad thought he heard something outside which simultaneously made him remember the cash. He rushes out and sees the teens running off. Only 25 yards down the road. After checking the car extensively for the money he decides to call the cops. They believe him because the kids had done this before. Unfortunately without them recovering the money nothing could be proven, it was gone. For the next two years I took every opportunity for revenge. I ambushed them at night with a paintball gum once. Trapped three uncolored outdoor cats I knew belonged to them and turned them into the shelter. I called the cops each time they drank beer outdoors then sat and watched them get picked up. All of it felt good and I feel weary even. When I was in the 5th grade there was this chump who always teased me. One day outside of school I ran up to him and kicked him as hard as I could in the gonads and I remember hearing him scream as I walked away like a badass. Years later his parents ran into my parents at a restaurant and blamed me for their kid's testicle issues he still has. Years later I kind of feel bad about it. But he was a pig face big dick. I stopped picking up her phone calls. Girl was a major attention who or who loved to lead me on and then run off to duck some random guy every few months. We dated a few times but when we broke up and she ran off again I said duck it. She comes back pregnant and still tries calling me every few months. At least she didn't claim the kid was mine. How many ducks would a duck pluck if a duck plucking pluck could fluck ducks? Subscribe to find out.